my doodle heads. How y'all doing? What's poppin'? What's going? So we are currently in traffic. It is my first day back. Um, yeah, I've been off from work, from my dance job, my Zumba job. Uh, barely been posting YouTube videos really or filming any since like before Christmas. So yeah, we're back. Aren't we fucking happy? Not really, bitch. Not really. I'm trying to be optimistic. We're not happy at all. It's fucking annoying. I don't want to fucking be here. I don't want to be in this fucking car. I still gotta fucking sleep. But I gotta get my body moving. I am so out of whack. I don't even want to step on the scale because I ate so much. You know what? I'm not even gonna say I ate junk because I de I didn't touch not one lick of junk on this vacation. I didn't even like. Oh, so boom. If you guys don't know, I had a solo vacation. Go watch that vlog, okay? Um, I took a solo vacation to San Diego um, for my birthday. So, yeah. I ate a lot of good food. Shockingly, I only had one bag of chips. Um, I didn't gorge. I didn't sit there eating a bunch of cake or anything like that. Like, I'm proud of myself. Like, my consciousness when it comes to food has become so much better. Like, even when I eat out, I'm like, yup, we're gonna go for the highest protein on the menu. Even my man took me out. He was smart enough. He, he ordered me the lamb. Like, yes, he, he picked out the whole menu before we even got there. So we sat down. All the food was spread out for us. And I was like, oh, I love me a man that makes decisiones. Uh, okay, I love me a man that makes decisions. So that was really, really nice. Seriously, I am very proud of myself for essentially, like, not junk eating like i'm not gonna lie, i have been feeling bingy i don't know what it was like i felt real anxious when i came back like right off the plane i was feeling extremely anxious and i just wanted to go to sleep and then the next day i just was like bingy like so i mean i ate a bag of popcorn i did that that was my extent of my binge i had a bag of popcorn i had like two little tiny packs of fruit snacks you know how they be coming in the little thing in the supermarket I had that, um, like, I, I'm proud of myself, because before a binge, oh, man, I'd have, like, three meals in one sitting, like, it used to be bad, and why the hell they raise a the total $2.10? Hey, hey, niggas, New Jersey, we need to start rioting, because how the fuck we pay all these goddamn taxes, and every day they raising this damn toll? Get the fuck. Anyways, so, yeah, I don't know, I'm proud of myself, like, I really didn't eat outside my like normal element i had a lot of protein all of my main meals were like very very heavily protein based um i didn't have much carbs at all i think the carbiest meal i had was on my birthday well the day before my birthday itself um i had like this broccolini and shredded steak chinese thing um it was fancy chinese food to me that's what i called it i was like how the fuck is it i don't know why the fuck i paid that much for that meal like it was not I honestly was probably the cheapest meal I had. I'm talking about some all that money. Like, it wasn't even that much. I just thought well, boy, that shit like fucking beef and broccoli. They told some broccolini bitch. That shit was beef and broccoli. Broccolini my ass. Like, I have white rice and I don't really have white rice. Like white rice is something I used to have a lot in my childhood. Like I would not eat no other rice but white rice. Now I don't really have white rice because it's not really good for me. It's not good for anyone really. I was so bloated. I was so bloated. My stomach was killing me. I had to have some ballerina tea. Now I'm like, oh my God. I go back to my dad's job tomorrow. Let's just talk about how I have a new co-teacher. So I love my co-teacher. Loved her. But she doesn't have time to dedicate to being at my location anymore. It's fine. You need a life. I'm about to cry. I'm so sad about it. And I have a new co-teacher, and it's a guy. And the nigga is so fucking unresponsive, it gets on my fucking nerves. Like, this man has not responded to not one fucking message in this chat for the past two weeks. Apparently, my co-teacher spoke to him and, I guess, briefed him on everything before he started on his first day. But, like, he was supposed to start the first day and called out the same day a couple hours before the class. And then she spoke to him again after what was supposed to be or before it was supposed to be his second day which was his first day because he called out the first day and she was like oh you know he's actually pretty cool if he wasn't doing all that bullshit i'm saying like, honestly i'm not i'm not on him like so i contacted you know my boss or whatever and i'm like hey yo i don't like this nigga like i was just like bro this nigga not answering like this shit don't make no sense and i'm not a fan like, i don't i don't like dealing with niggas that cause problems like and i can tell this nigga's gonna be a problem like how am i supposed to co-facilitate with somebody 
and they're not even answering messages and she talked about some oh i don't think he knows how to use slack bitch how the fuck you can't use slack it's like a group message app bitch you answer the fucking messages like i don't know why people make life so fucking difficult what is difficult about answering group messages you answer it so i'm gonna be going there tomorrow hopefully not horrible like i have such an attitude about it because i don't like people that don't cooperate like the success of the program for these children is that we could facilitate and the nigga don't even know how to answer a message on slack like come with the fuck on so yeah i'm gonna see you guys at the gym Alrighty, just pulled up 8 31 i'm not as late another thing i wanted to get back on my schedule because i've been late all 2022 for no reason <laughs> so we gonna be on time now i'm i'm late-ish but them niggas be late too. They be like five, ten minutes late for my class. So they be alright. We're good. We good. I'm nervous, y'all. Can we talk about how I made a whole new playlist and just started practicing the new dances yesterday? Yeah. Thank you. Zoom instructor? Yeah, so just started doing that. Let's see. I'm called choreographer. So usually I can pick up shit, make sure shit, retain shit very fast. So I think I got this. If not, luckily I have a whole playlist to fall back on. It was never that easy before, but I got six months doing this now so i think we gucci i want to be in bed but i am happy to work out because i need that you guys enjoyed the holiday it was my birthday so i'm all late <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed i actually missed you guys i did wait nobody came i'm about to say somebody came right except the 26 Somebody ain't come. That was a, they try to blame me. I said, excuse me, I've been called out. Don't talk to me, I'm on vacation. So. Alright guys, so we are finally home. I took a shower, so I'm looking all cozy. I'm, I'm not matching, but you guys can see the home fit for today. I have these burgundy Adidas leggings on. They got these for me for Christmas. I have a Nautica top on. It's like a bralette top thing. Super cute, and I have this throw on. I don't know where I got this, but super cute, super cozy. It's actually kind of warm in here. I only put this on because I left my vlog camera in the car and I had to go get it. Whew, honestly, the gym cleared my sinuses. Oh my god, <clears throat> like it's all coming out now. And look at my eczema, guys. A lot of y'all are always like, oh my god, you don't look like you have eczema. I don't think you guys could see it because of the lighting, but look. Oh, man. I'm trying so hard not to itch it, but like it's also on my arms. It looks horrible. I do have some lotion from my doctor, but it's like, I think it's already getting bad. And look, my plant is finally dying. I knew this shit was gonna die. So I'm gonna have to like cut shit i probably won't even have to cut i probably just freaking pull this shit off i have to take a lot of these off i knew this was gonna happen while i was away it's whatever um you have to water these things like three four times a week uh, it's whatever i really don't care like what am i gonna do cry oh uh, so i'm making some ramen okay so uh, i only have this flavor which is the chili flavor so i'm gonna use a maggie cube because i love the chicken flavor don't ask me why i bought this i think they didn't have the chicken flavor at dollar tree so that's what i got so we're gonna try it and we're gonna see all right, so we're here. People are gathering for the class. It's lit. <laughs> C4 is kicking in.
so we are done with class i'm so tired usually i would stay work on some choreography or anything like that but i'm trying to like rework my schedule because i realize that like sometimes i'll be going over or sometimes i'll be running around doing too much i run out of time run around with like my chicken i said my chicken run around with like a chicken with my head cut you know what the fuck they be saying that expression so i'm trying to rework my schedule so wednesdays are supposed to be my film days so i think it's best that i just do zumba then go home but i'm gonna stop at marshall's real quick but i really really want to go to the movies tonight like i want to go see the megan movie so we're gonna try to like Work that into my life. I'm trying to schedule myself a date every month <laughs> with myself. So I think I'm gonna take myself out to eat and go see a movie. But probably just go to the movie. I don't know. Cause I'll, I'll probably like scratch the whole idea. And just make my nigga take me. I don't know if he'll be interested in that movie though. <laughs> like I only like to go see movies that I don't know nobody would want to see because I've heard nobody talk about Megan. <laughs> like I don't think anybody wants to see a killer doll movie. But I feel like he'd probably like to see that. I don't know. As you guys can see, I'll be making plans or having ideas and then like just don't do them. I, like if it's not in my calendar, more than likely it's not getting done. But what is in my calendar is filming. So we're definitely gonna do that. But I definitely have to shower. And I do have to finish organizing my closet, which is me finishing a whole different vlog from this vlog. I have to do the notes. Then I'm gonna film, and then I'm gonna finish my closet organization. So those three things have to be done. So the movie situation is probably out. <sighs> okay, I'm probably completely out. So we'll see. All right, guys. So we are showered. We are dressed. I just have a long sleeve shirt on with some shorts and some socks. Like I said, it is film day. Just popped on some lashes. Did, you know, a little mascara and, you know, kind of fixed my brows a little bit. We're gonna be doing some basic bitch shit, okay? So shorts, long sleeve shirt on. This is a unitard. Super cute, whatever. So I got some things at Marshall's. What the? Why is this thing so weird? So I got some things at Marshall's. I am on the hunt for a new body wash yet again. So I use this black soap thing. It is pretty good. Sometimes I end up having an allergic reaction to it. So Marshall's, you know, is the den of everything. I got this Milk Day Coconut and Almond Milk Gentle Nourishing Skincare Body Wash. As you guys know, I do have eczema. Um, Luckily, the one on my neck is clearing up. It looks good. If you guys have eczema, it's important not to scratch. As hard as it is, you cannot scratch it because if you scratch it, it's gonna get bad. It's gonna get dark. It's it's just gonna get worse. So every time I get an outbreak, I have to change my fucking like body wash. Um, So I'm learning now that I can't use anything with like strong fragrance or anything with sulfates or if it has that in it, it can't be like the first five ingredients. So I sat there in that aisle for like 30 minutes, y'all. So this one does not necessarily have many sulfates in it. And if it does, it's like not the first ingredient. So hopefully this works. And you know, coconut oil on my hair. Oh my goodness, no. But coconut oil on my skin, that's pretty good. Same thing with sulfates. Like I could do sulfates in my hair all day. Doesn't irritate my scalp at all, but sulfates on my skin, no bueno for the most part. When it comes to lotion, I'm trying the Essential Beauty Soft as Silk Daily Moisturizing Lotion with collagen, shea butter, and hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid is really good for anti-aging and shea butter, do I really have to say what shea butter does? And I also got some 100% shea butter as well. But this is paraben free, it's cruelty free for all skin types, dye free, and made in the USA. So you have to stay away from fragrances, you have to stay away from dyes, you have to stay away from alcohol and lotion. That's very important if you have eczema, because child, it's the alcohol that really be doing it. And I know you guys are probably gonna be typing down below, oh, try Cetaphil, try Vino, try Nivea. Try Trust me, I've tried every single conventional thing for eczema on the market since I was like born, okay? None of it works for me. It all irritates my skin. So that's why I just be trying to try like less popular things because none of it works for me. Pastel soap usually does work for me, but sometimes it's way too harsh. It's not gentle enough for me, but it does get me clean, you know, I guess. But I did, I am trying a different one like the Dr. Bronner's is way too much so I picked up this cast style one it says pure and simple soap so we'll see I don't know I'm not too crazy I don't know it says lemon and verbena which I really shouldn't be putting lemon on my skin but we'll see it's cast style soap so we'll trust it I got some things for my boyfriend for Valentine's Day yes January but we gotta be prepared okay I like to have everything nice prepared and ready for when the time comes okay I don't want to be running around trying to find shit okay I also picked me up some vanilla syrup okay we love the vanilla syrup syrup okay always get your coffee and your tea shit from marshall's tj maxx burlington ross if you have it i'm so jealous of everyone that has a ross because i don't fucking have one let me put this damn camera down now i'll do this fast because vlog camera's dying so this is the shea butter i got it's the chauncey shea butter creamy shea butter i love shea butter i actually really like shea butter for my hair i use it on my edges i said this a long time ago and a lot of people didn't believe me but i use it on my edges a lot this is creamy shea butter oh it's nice I 
if you guys don't got no edges, shea butter. Now this is the creamy one, so it's not really gonna lay it well unless you like put a scarf over it. But for those of you guys who have access to like that really thick shea butter, it does wonders for your edges instead of using edge control. And for lunch after the gym, we have chicken tenders and veggies. So I got sweet potato and carrots, yes. We are, we are going bro healthier choices this year. I'm not playing no fucking games. Trying to hit three meals a day. This is my second. I had a peanut butter sandwich earlier and I'm gonna blend up a smoothie that I have in the fridge. Just waiting for me to blend it up. And I'm gonna try the pink sauce. <laughs> I'll let y'all know how it is. I will say it's interesting because she did get like a deal. So it's not like her making in her kitchen anymore. So that's cute. I will let you guys know how it goes. Um, If I die, I die, but you guys know how it goes. All right guys, so I just filmed five videos. Woo -woo. I have two more to film. So I think I'm up to seven uploads per week. Three on my main, two on my um, personal, and then two on my Haitian channel. That's what it's looking like. I don't know why this gimbal's acting weird. Anyhow, so I just put a load in the laundry. I'm finally about to reorganize my gym clothes, which is for a whole nother vlog. Arrivederci, let me stop. Um, I'll probably show you guys a little bit of that, but like I said, whole nother vlog. So sure, you guys stay tuned for that. Good morning, guys. It is the next morning. If I look like shit, it's because I have my cycle. I was spotting yesterday, now I have my cycle. Weird enough, I'm not really bleeding much, I don't know. I feel weird, like my ADHD's acting up, my anxiety's acting up. I'm supposed to be filming two videos for my Haitian channel and then I go to my dance job. So I don't think I'm gonna be able to do shit but go to my job today. I have no appetite. Like my cycle makes me not have an appetite at all. So it's like all I'm having is some iced coffee, which is like mocha iced coffee um, from Aldi. I love this shit, but like, I don't even think I'm gonna be able to drink that. Like, I don't, I don't care. Like, my stomach feels like crap. I can't focus on anything. Everything I try to watch, I just don't care to watch it. Everything I try to look at, I'm just like, I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna try to do some desk work. I don't wanna listen to nothing. Like, I'm just mad fucking irritated. I just wanna lay in bed. But then every time I try to lay in bed, I want to get back up. I'm just gonna look at my to-do list and, 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 and see. I'm trying to log into one of my accounts right now, and I'm just like, what the fuck? Fucking log in, like, oh my God. So we'll see how much work we can get get done today. I'm gonna fill you guys in, because I was supposed to also organize one of my cabinets today, or at least one of my closets, and it's like, I don't think it's gonna work, because I'm just not in the mood. All right, guys, so it is the next day. I did not feel good at all yesterday. I had to go to work. I had such a horrible attitude, but the kids definitely helped me feel better. I cleaned my house. I reorganized my um, bathroom cabinet. I had so much shit that I was just holding on to hair products, hair um, tools. I threw a lot of shit out. I have like three bags worth of trash, y'all. Like clothes, bathroom stuff. <laughs> Look at this shit, y'all. This is ridiculous. So I'm about to make some steak tacos. I finally finished cleaning. Um, I'm watching some, oh, that's tea. That's my bitch, okay? I fucking love her. Um, And yeah, I'm cutting up some steak to make some steak tacos because I'm hungry. So yeah, we're about to do that. So I'm going to save these two things for later. So this is what I do a lot. Like if I have leftover meat, I'll just season it and put it right in the freezer for next time. So this is literally probably like anywhere from two to three different meals because this is a lot of meat. Even though it doesn't look like a lot, a lot of cubed meat. I'm gonna probably make two to three tacos with this cubed meat right here. So it's lit. Okay, so I just got out the shower and I'm finally using this like vegetable cutter situation that I got from Team U. And um, this is like a dupe. You see these all over. Amazon and um, it was way cheaper on Amazon so we're gonna try the one that I got from team you so here it is let's see we're gonna try an onion I hope I set this up right because I don't think I did but yeah I don't think I did this right 
think I did this right at all. I had a feeling, so uh, yeah, I don't think I did this right. So let's try again. Okay, so I think I did do it right. I just had to cut it smaller, and then I think this outer portion, um, I just had to like, you know what I'm talking about? Like I didn't strip this properly. I don't know because I I got some at the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see that. So let's try again. <laughs> No, I feel like I might still be missing something. Like, it's just harder to do. It's not like a, I still feel like I might be doing something wrong because this should not be this difficult and I don't want to break it. <laughs> Alright guys, so my like camera done, um, well the memory card was full, so. I already had my tacos, they were really, really good. Here's a picture, isn't it so, it's cute, right? It wasn't full, so I kept eating garlic nuts. I ordered some pizza, pepperoni pizza and garlic nuts yesterday. Kid you not, all I had was pizza all day yesterday. Okay, that's what being on your period is like usually. I don't have an appetite, but the only thing I was able to have an appetite for is pizza. Pizza is my favorite food. Uh, but today I had cereal and I had tacos, so I guess we're back to regular appetite. And now I'm about to head to my bae's house, but first, making a stop at my parents' house to play mediator, my mother called me today talking about my cousin broke the mop. Honestly, I just, I haven't seen my parents since my birthday anyway. Not like they're gonna give me a gift, but I'm just gonna go and listen to their fucking complaints, so. Today's fit, basic shit. I'm just wearing sweats and a long sleeve onesie. Um, yeah, that's what we're wearing today. And I'm gonna be wearing my coach boots. I bought these when I went to New York, when Bay took me to, um, what's that shit called again? That shit in New York people be going to on trips? I forgot, but yeah, I bought these a while ago. So, let's go. All right guys, hello, hello. So it's currently Monday, so we are definitely ending the vlog here. But we have to give you guys an update because all this shit happened. And let me just say, I'm extremely proud of myself and how I handled it because I told myself 2023, I'm not putting energy into entity-ting that I'm not a thousand percent confident in, I'm not a thousand percent happy with, and most importantly, other people's business, okay? I'm tired of people hitting me up, asking me for advice, asking me for counsel, asking me to do shit, but then they're not as invested in they shit as me. They want me to be their pit bull. They want me to fight for them. They want me to do this, that, and the third, right? So essentially, I got a phone call, not even, I got a voice note from my mother on Sunday talking about some, oh, Ivana, don't please, Ivana, please talk to your cousin. Because remember the socks you got me for Christmas? I got her like these like designer socks that like kind of like soak up moisture and they're like really, really warm. It's like these technological socks. They're, they're low key expensive for what they are, whatever. And basically she said, Oh, your cousin came, your cousin Ricardo came, went into my bag that I had them in and, and stole my socks. And I'm going to church, so I ain't gonna say nothing to him right now. But by the time I come back, I better find those socks or he better be out. I'm not playing. I'm sick of him touching my stuff. Literally going off, bro. In Crayola, of course, right? And I'm just sitting there like, why are you talking to me about it? This nigga lives in your house. What do you want me to do? Like, I'm tired of my parents putting me as mediator. I'm tired of my parents not literally voicing their opinions and their problems with this dude. Because every single time something like this happens and I go to my cousin, you guys have seen the stories on this channel i'll be like yo they said you did this or oh, they said you said that or oh, they said you took this they said that you whatever he'd be shocked he'd be like what like the fuck so i'm not even gonna lie as much as i don't like my cousin i will say that some things like my mother is starting with him like genuinely starting with him and it just doesn't make any logical sense and most importantly my mother is all talk all she does is this she do no action so honestly the old me okay i don't even want to be all on, on this corny old me new me new year new me shit but like honestly before i would have probably ran over there and i was close i was very close. The old me would have been like, oh, let me just go drive over there so she don't do nothing, so she don't get too upset, so she don't throw his stuff out. But I was like, nah, I know she all talk. I know she's not gonna do shit. And I know damn well, I'm very sure, honestly, that he did not take her socks because what would he gain from taking her socks? Now, pause. I will say, as crazy as it sounds, Ricardo does have a horrible habit of taking people's shit. He definitely does do that. I bought my dad a really nice watch a couple years ago for Father's Day, and all of a sudden he's wearing the watch. I asked my dad how the fuck he get it. He said, oh, one day he just came, he cleaned my room, and he took it. Numerous times he's cleaned my room and took things in exchange for cleaning my room like a like a payment or something back in the day i didn't say anything because he was super new he didn't know any shit he still don't know any english i was about to say he ain't know any english but like he he didn't even start working yet like he was like you know we were still cool at the time and i was like you know what when it comes to like foreigners especially with haitians they always tell you like oh if your family wants something let them have it usually i'd be like fuck that shit kill that noise fuck is you talking about but like the things that he would take weren't that serious and i'd have multiple like he took one of my speakers i have like three speakers you know so it's like whatever and it was a cheap speaker and it was a sponsored speaker so it was like 
like whatever right so it's like it, it's little shit like that he does have that quality where he does take people shit so i'm like okay if he was gonna take something of yours don't you think it'd be something of value and plus from what i understand he's never been in her new room ever since we moved there so i'm sitting here and i'm just like I'm not paying attention to this because this is a whole crock of caca like i just don't believe it i ignore it okay i'm like oh i don't know i don't believe it like are you sure like i don't know like i just i barely paid it any mind child so i send it to my cousin because the fuck you gonna talk shit oh well i sent it to my cousin i was like hey yo you stole her shit so he starts going this long ass spew oh i don't understand why they keep blaming me for things i don't know why they always saying i'm doing something i don't be doing nothing that just going off and i'm like mind you he's in brooklyn he goes to brooklyn every week to go see his bitch so he's like i'm about to come home right now see if she could put my shit out like she say she is see if she big and bad that like when i'm telling y'all like they just going back and forth to me in, in voice note and i'm just sitting there like i am with my man i am chilling I, I'm, I'm sitting here watching elite on netflix i i'm watching pressure cooker i am chill i am not moving i had a bonnet on a t-shirt i am ch i am not getting up because at this point you want me to do your work for you the nigga is right next door go fucking talk to him i'm i don't fucking live there i don't fucking live there i don't want to live there and then on top of that this is childish this is not even a real problem at this point i've been beginning to think that my mother just genuinely doesn't want him there and on top of that i feel like she's trying to find a distraction i gave him the deadline of march 1st to leave i would hope that he adheres to the deadline but even worse i'm beginning to think that my mother just doesn't want to deal with my father so that's the only reason he's in the house and it's funny because when you guys commented that in one of my videos and it, it got me to thinking like i'm beginning to agree with you and the reason i say that is because just now so i just hopped out the shower right before i hopped in the shower my mother called me and she's like hey so you know joe biden has that whole situation for haitian migrants and i was wondering if you would like to enter your sister um into america now this is the thing i don't have another biological sister well i technically that's for another story for another time because i'm whatever but my mother wasn't going to have children a really really long time ago because she couldn't have children she had fertility issues so so my cousin's mother aka her sister basically gave her one of her children so she adopted her and they consider her my sister so essentially she's like hey would you be open to adopting your sister and it's annoying because listen i have beef with the girl i, I like her she's pleasant i've had very minimal conversations with her but i don't know her and it's annoying because you're like oh your sister your sister do you want to help your sister you should send your sister some money and it's like i don't know the girl i don't have a relationship with her like if anything i don't like ricardo but i have way more of a relationship with ricardo than the sister so we have to name her something we're gonna call her regina she's like hey do you um wanna so my mom calls me and she's like hey do you wanna um fill out the whole biden situation because you know they're giving visas or whatever to certain immigrants from different countries so essentially she's like oh would you mind sponsoring regina so you're telling me ricardo's on his way out and you want to put somebody else in this house for the what though literally that's an extra mouth to feed an extra mouth that probably won't be able to work and then on top of that regina has children regina has two small kids and she's like oh well they're grown they're i'm like they're not grown she's like well one's 10 and one's eight i said that's not grown at all that's actually a crucial part of development i don't believe that it's okay for you to be trying to bring someone here a while ricardo's still here there's no space for her while ricardo's still here so at least wait till ricardo's gone and b she has children i would i would assume she wants to be with her children she's like oh it's temporary it'll only be for two years i'm like nah bro it just doesn't make sense and then on top of that you don't have money to be sustaining another person like a whole nother person in your household at this point it's dipping into my household like and it got me to thinking like yo you just really don't want to deal with my father or something because like this man should be on his way out and now you're trying to put somebody else there for what though no. what is the logic you you bitch cry and complain you you want this living room set whatever you could get it when this nigga leaves you bitch cry and complain that all your stuff is always gone you don't have money for this you don't have money for that okay well when he leaves you'll be fine because he won't be eating up all your expensive now you want a whole nother person to come here that you really haven't interacted with like listen she does talk to regina but it was the same thing with ricardo my mother practically raised ricardo that's a whole nother story for a whole nother time but my mother practically raised ricardo she was his mother figure because ricardo's parents are trash one's a drunk and and his mother only cares about his businesses listen his mother is my favorite aunt i love her to death but truth is true fact is fact she only cares about her businesses even to this day she only cares about her businesses every child she has she dumped on my mother and my mother is significantly younger than her so my mother was out here raising kids at like what fucking 14 15 16 and ricardo was one of those kids that she raised so when she was offered the opportunity to house ricardo in america she didn't know that he was like that because it'd been years since he's seen him by the time she came to america i think ricardo was like maybe i don't know in his teens but he wasn't wilding out but apparently he was wilding out in haiti and nobody told my mom about it and when he came here he started wilding out here doing all of this goofy shit right so it's like no you don't know her like that like that's what i, I said listen yeah that's your daughter but you don't know her like that we not do that i was like listen if anything you could probably bring a family member that doesn't have children one that you talk to regularly 
regularly and also please wait till ricardo leaves because there's no space like where's she gonna sleep the bathtub oh no she should go find somewhere to sleep i said no this is this is ridiculous and it's uncomfortable and it just doesn't make any sense like i've literally have friends who have parents that sat there and tried to pile all these migrants in the house and it just it was very uncomfortable and it was ridiculous like granted i'm not there so it's not comfortable for me but it's just like i feel like that's uncomfortable for the person like these people come to america on a dream and yes i know we're not here to sell and give them the dream that they've been sold but at the same time i want the girl to at least be comfortable but my thing is she got two small kids and y'all know how i am about kids like you got a 10 and an 8 year old you gonna leave them in haiti with all of that 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 debauchery nigga no i think that if anything you should bring a family member that doesn't have so much liability like i i'm just saying and you should handle your shit instead of thinking about bringing these people here and i understand all the stuff that's going on in haiti is like difficult and hard and sad and it, it is but like i'm also one of those people that's like yo if haitians keep migrating and running away from the problem the problem is never gonna get fixed and i feel like that about every country that has problems similar to haiti running away from the problem is not going to fix it we need to do something as the diaspora okay we need to do something um politicians need to start stop fucking lying cheating stealing and all of that yeah you know there's a lot more things that go into it than just getting visas coming here for two years and going back the best case scenario she comes and she stays and then she brings her kids here or she comes makes some money and goes back but it's just like honestly i didn't even look up the details of that program all i know is ain't nobody coming here on my shit I ain't sponsoring a damn soul, okay? Like, I I am not, okay? I already technically have my dad on my shit because of his little things, which I talked about in my sister's story time. You guys feel free to go check that out. But it's just like, it's just too fucking much. I'm just proud of myself for not getting up to go handle that mess because I was just like, what do you want me to do? That's literally, I was like, what do you want me to do? Like, I'm not, I'm not doing anything. Like, you guys tolerated this mess and now you guys, whatever. And then she had the nerve all audacity. Oh, well, you didn't pay your dad's phone bill. I'm no longer tolerating people's mess. Like, I told her shit, I was like, I'm not tolerating that shit. He, he wants shit he wants extra luxuries a phone is a luxury he gonna have to get a job like i don't understand why should i be paying his phone bill i said no <laughs> like literally i was like i said no like i'm not doing this shit anymore and i feel a lot more peaceful i feel great i feel happy so i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i feel like it was kind of boring but hey i told you guys I have a very boring life thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next vlog like share subscribe make sure you guys join the patreon the patreon is lit love you guys so very much can't wait for you guys to hear my new single i'm going to start promoting this week make sure you guys subscribe Subscribe to my other two channels. They're going to be linked down below. And I'ma see y'all next time. Bye!